The word of God according to Acts 21 declares that Paul, the church persons, or the church people told Paul, but a vision. And they told Paul, Paul, do not go to Jerusalem. Because when you go to Jerusalem, they have a trap set there for you. If you go to Jerusalem, you shall be bound and imprisoned. A matter of fact, remind me again, minister, about a post or about something. I can't think of the Bible. Abacus. He went when he saw Paul, he bowed Paul's hands and feet. As a demonstration that when you go to Jerusalem, this is what is going to happen to you. Abacus. Thank you. And the word of God said, these persons, Christian people, church people, they got this word through the Holy Spirit. It wasn't that they were just talking on the top of their head. But they warned Paul and said, Paul, look here. If you ever go to Jerusalem, down near your supper, you're going to be born in chains and you're going to be beaten and imprisoned. Paul, some believe that Paul was disobedient or he made a mistake. But Paul decided that, look here, I am still going to Jerusalem. I gave this message so much, so much, so much time from it last night. Driven by, by purpose and not by fear. Driven by this and not by that. But when I saw you and I see you, I said, look here, you have to do it because you love God. And you can't do it because of people like you are not like you. You better do it because you love God. Yes. Sister Margaret, you better do it because you love God. Yes. You better come up as well because you love Jesus. Yes. Lord God Almighty, because of church people, get the answer to Paul said, look here. Yes. Don't go to Jerusalem. Yes. Paul said, look here, man. God has given me a mandate. Yes. And look here, when I am born in chains, when I am loose, I am born, I am going to Jerusalem.
plug in. Church be plug in. You know what church people say about Paul? Paul was against the law of Moses. Church people. They don't want any person in man had an encounter on the road to Damascus. And he saw Jesus face to face. And Jesus said, Why do you kick against the pre -pause? You can't kick against the pre -pause. They didn't matter that he was blinded for three years. And when his eyes opened, he began to preach the gospel. Because he said, Who are the ministers? He got a first hand revelation of who Jesus was. He said, Who am I? Who this link me down? And he, Jesus said, It is I, Jesus. He did not confess and spell who it was. He got a first hand revelation that Jesus was the Messiah. And they came against Paul and church people telling him, say, He is against the law of Moses. They said to him, he's against the Jewish customs. Then they said to him, said, he forbids circumcision. Because Paul believed that it was necessary for you to be circumcised in order to be saved. It was circumcision of the heart. So God was going to win a ship. They were Jewish Christians. So they were going over into something new. And so when Paul said to them, say, you don't have to be circumcised to be you're not happy. You don't have to whether you wear pants and you don't wear pants. Whether you're prima here or you're prima here. Whether you wear Ellen, you don't wear Ellen. I had a total lady who said God tell her that she must wear brooch. I feel your conviction that see me with the brooch, you can't tell me something to say. That's her conviction. And we cannot come against it. We are in this church and they said the premiums must come on your hair. When you are come on this platform, we respect it and we do it. But that has a little period of salvation. It is circumcision of the heart. That's why God said you have to rent your heart and not your garment. You tear out your heart and give it to God. Not the garment, man. My God Almighty, so Christian people make it sometimes so hard for some people to even come to the church and believe in God. Because we tell them, say, this no be do, that no be do, this no be do, and so guess what? They decide not to come. But Paul said circumcision. Paul said you don't have to observe a special day. You don't have to talk about an important point that has a little bearing of God's salvation. No, Sabbath. When you talk about what you eat, that has more bearing on your health. But not on your spiritual life, your salvation. And so, church people talk to tear up Paul. You have come against Moses' law. You have come against this. You have come against that. You have come. How dare you try to put down what we have established? Mighty God of Daniel. We said they are established. But Jesus from now saying, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man coming to the Father but by me. The Sabbath is not the way. Whatever you pour down, that is not the way. Jesus is the way. So when you come before me, you tear up your heart before me and say, God, wash me and cleanse me. Make me white and snow. Paul knew what the church people were saying. He said, Jackie, Paul didn't know. He knew what the church people were saying. And guess what, minister? Church people also convinced him that look here, appease them. You know, some people want to throw off their fear on you. Minister, you up here and you, 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 you convinced him saying you want to show the hallelujah. But when you look on certain places, like I said, Lord Jesus, when you feel three times, three times, three times, three times. And people try to throw up their fear on you. And you try to conform to them. And try to be, 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 be with yourself and say, look here. Me now show the hallelujah because guess what? Me one voice over here in the church and it's not too loud. And somebody might look for me. No! The devil is a liar. So they start to Oh, you can talk about saying you are this. You is not this. 
Because Paul was a 
pastor. And the pastor rebuked Juanita and said, Tell her, tell her, when the other sister was gone, Juanita said, Pastor, me, the mama will rebuke me. You know, sister, that sister, the problem. You know what the pastor said? She's not going anywhere, and you are gone. Let me say that louder. The pastor said, She don't have the ministry that you have. She don't have the calling that you have. And you are going to front the people. And I'm she. So your character has to be bigger. Your character has to be clear. We just say you can't read. And you try and that kind of a very real. Try to be like all the way you want to be. And you see what I'm feeling and that's for her. Thank you. 
Thank you. 
ਕੋਈ ਕੋਈ ਨਹੀਂ ਆ ਹੋ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਸਵਾਰ ਦੇ ਕੋਲਿੰਗਸ ਆਰ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਐਂਡ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਪਾਲ ਟ੍ਰਾਈ ਟੂ ਫਾਕ ਫਾਰ ਟੂ ਹੂ ਹੀ ਵਾਸਨ ਐਂਡ ਕੰਟਿਸ਼ਨ ਵੇ ਹੀ ਡਿਡ ਗੇਟ ਮੀ ਸੇ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਗਿਵ ਇਟ ਸੇ ਪੂਰ ਟੂ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਫੋਰ ਯੂ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਫੂਲ ਚਾਈ ਫੋਰ ਮੀ ਬਾਬਾ ਜੀ ਨੇ ਸੇ ਇਟੀ ਆਈ ਵਿਲ ਡਿਸਾਈਡ ਟੂ ਪੂਰ ਆਫਟਰ ਦੀ ਪੀਪਲ ਵਾਂ ਆਮੇਨ ਆਦਾ ਵੇ ਟੀ ਈ ਜੋ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਟੀਓ ਟੈਪਰ that has nothing to do with your salvation no. you want to tell me that to think it's your health yes. for your health yes. you want to tell me yes. and you know people have different concepts of pork and hungry pork and this pork and that and so on but it's your conviction so I mean no man nobody in the world for the car no man nobody in the world for the car yes it is a beautiful song of rock and roll And guess what? The beating church people with his skin. Guess what? You all heard me? It was a Gentile who came and rescued him. He hear the uproar. You go by and hear the uproar. And go up and say, Go on, can you give me one? Tell him right here. Oh, who are you? Oh, who are you? Oh, who are you? Oh, who are you? What are you? Yes. Yeah. 